predict which one of these teams gets to play in the Final Four and which team will pay to watch from the stands. It all comes down to this game between the Washington State Cougars and the Connecticut Huskies. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of the other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Huskies are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. Number one, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Next, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Thirdly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. We're trying to pack it inside. Number 34 with the fake. The fans are really pleased with what's taking place here. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Joseph receives the pass from the top of the circle. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. He'll regroup the offense. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Inside. On the inside. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Newton is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The Cougars will step to the line for the first time. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Inside, picked out of the air. In Olo. He rejects it. Perkin receives the ball. Gave it up. The point guard handles the feed. For the bucket, he's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Looking for a good shot. Jumps in. Sinks it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Fakes the shot. The small forward handles the pass. Puts up the tray. Tickles the twine. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Bed the low block. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. Way off target. They 
They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Let's see that up close. For two. Perfectly executed. If you watch it again, it's even better. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Off the rim and no good. Intercepted. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Working it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. But thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nestler. There's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. They're off into transition. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He makes a nice shot fake. He attempts the trifecta, knocks it down. I need to see that again, Brad. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He shoots from right of the circle. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. There's the trap. Get that sucker out of the game, man. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Nice shot. Stolen away. That number's right here. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? On the outside. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Pump fakes. Harm and foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Not good. Not getting enough motion on offense. You know? He gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Defense got it after knocking it loose. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Mm -hmm. 
Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Look at that spacing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Gave it up. Outside jumper. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. On the Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Perfectly executed. That's seven on answer. Here he comes defensively on him in the low block. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of close position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The skip pass is picked off. For two, can't get the shot to go. Tries for two, can't get the shot to drop. On the outside, the ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrew. Aaron? Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Looking for a good shot. He unloads a three. Off the mark. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from outside. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Both teams looking to get things going here. And they get the turnover. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Kicks off the lazy pass. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Ross draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me?
Ross steps to the line for the first time. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Cashed it in. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Scorches the net. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Fakes a jumper. He up fakes. For the bucket. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And then what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Ten on the shot clock. Takes it off him. Here we go on the break. And a slam. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. plays on the pass and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. He tries a jump hook. Washington State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Double team now, bad angle. He takes the shot off the baseline. Roll that replay ready, boys. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He shoots from the top of the circle. It sticks. How about a replay, boys? They'll bring it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For two. Makes the shot. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed.
There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Look at that spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Picks off the pass. Full court pass. Obvious foul. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Dick. I tell you, the mascot so sad it reflects their play. High post flasher is open. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Gave it up. He intercepts it. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. There's the fake. Top of the circle. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. Will take the shot. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. <laughs> they work it around the perimeter. Picked off. For two. Perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drag the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Cougars are now in the bonus. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Misses the first shot. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. It's good. Takes away the pass. Two for one opportunity. Gets it back out. He's got some room. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He steps up to the line. He buries it. Makes it. Defensive play anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Shot clock is dead. Goes up for two. Sinks it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Sinks the shot. Let's take a second look. He shoots from the angle. Off target. 
And he can't hit the shot. At halftime, the Cougars lead by 20. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Connecticut coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. around the perimeter up fake kicks it out working it around the perimeter up it inside for the bucket he knocks down another bucket down. this kid's got skills Brad Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I think they're trying to make a statement. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Easy one. They work the perimeter. He dials long distance. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Defensively, number 12, supplying pressure and looking for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Ball goes out of bounds. Stolen away. The center with the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Court. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Mm -hmm. 
The center gets the pass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. High post screen, gonna use it. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. goes out of play. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way to spin back the other way. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. High post flashes on the outside. The small forward takes the feed. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Looking for a good shot. The point guard gets the ball. For the deuce, he puts it in with contact and all. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. High post flashes for the opportunity. Lobs it inside. He called for the oop, then went up, and got it, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. They've got a player spotting up on the three. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Tries for two. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle goes. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot.
10 seconds left on the shot clock. Tries to get the D to bite. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dribble gives it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. He looks for three. Way off target. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. They'll work it around the arc. He lets it go. He can't miss. Teddy Shepman's feeling it, Brad. Accepts it. He attempts the three. Connecticut have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Cougars are ahead by eight. He tries a jump hook. Off the rim and no good. The UConn student section, also known unofficially as the Huskies faithful. They had a lot of success over the years. Hey, the coach does a great job here. He's got an eye for potential and talent. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Sinks it. Kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. On the outside, the shooting guard takes the pass. Picks off the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Goes up for two. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Great job transition, offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Looking for a good shot. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket, Connecticut have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad.
hard foul. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. Tries for two. Lays it in. Looking for a good shot. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. The high screen. Ross is carrying his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He quickly brings it up court. There's a slam. The Huskies are down by four. He takes it away. And back they come the other way. For the deuce. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Great defense. Pushes it. Takes it off him. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Connecticut is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. the outside big finish coming here partner I'm not going anywhere well, offensively this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times they'd like to get it inside to the low block he gets the rejection they just keep shutting the door They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up for two. He shows the sweet touch. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. He's money with a shot. away the pass. They work the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. 
Washington State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Stolen ball. Here they are on the break. Got it. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. With a little baby hook. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. He strokes it. Oh, yes! Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Steals the pass. Inside. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Controlling the ball. And the ball goes out of play. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Steal. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. Up and in. Washington State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Buries it. No doubt about it. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Rims out. He intercepts it. On the outside. From three-point territory. Off the rim and no good. Has a nice look at the basket. Puts up the shot. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. High post screen. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively.
let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Washington State emerges victorious in this one. I'll tell you, these kids are having a time of their lives as their childhood dreams come to reality. Hey, they're playing the next game in the magical Final Four. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.